There's probably nothing more important than what we provide for our youth, especially when it comes to the Beta Knesset. Our ancestors built this shul for their children and their grandchildren to preserve the Torah values that they brought with them from Halak and to give those values over to their future generations. One of the ways we do this is by creating a very vibrant youth program. Over the last 20 years, the youth program has really exploded. You know, today more than ever, the, the shul has become a safe haven for our kids. We were uh, young, young boys in the Midrash, and there was a kids program that at that point was a hundred of us boys. It was a very, very fun time. And then eventually, Joe Manzo comes over to me and says, you know, you went through the program. Now I actually want, uh, want you to give a class. There was no room in Charetzion. So Joe Manzo says, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna give a class in the hallway. Over the years, we've had classes for uh, every different age. If there's a group, we're gonna find a leader for them and service them. So our minyan is a kid's minyan. It's a father and son minyan, and they're with their siblings, their cousins. And when they walk in there, they feel like they're praying with their family. In our minyan, we want more. We want a boy to know that there's a makam of the week, and based on the parasha of the week, the tunes of the tefillah will be based on that. It used to be one or two boys knew the tune. Today, the tent is shaking because everyone knows the tune. At an early age of just eighth grade, through the high school years, we're teaching these boys to become the leaders, giving them the skills and the tools to become active members of the community and be real participants of any minyan they're part of. We see as they go through the minyan, they become stronger and more of a love for just the shul and the learning with the tefillah. When I came over here in 1984, I used to sleep over here in the morning and we do the bakashot with all the old people, you know, used to be over here. I really want the boys same way I grow and I learned from my grandfather and his brother and all the Halabiya used to be in our neighborhood and our shul. Same way I wanted to be also there. Right now we have a Ta'amim class. In Halab, the most important thing that you could do when you're growing up, when you're a child, is to know how to read. So once he sees he can accomplish this, he can accomplish other goals in life. And it's something that stays in the, for the rest of your life. Once you learn how to kiri'ah, you know for the rest of your life. About eight years ago, we decided that the boys have so many hours at night and we have to do something for them. So we figured we'll have a Mishnayo program in Sharit Sion for grades third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade boys to come learn twice a week Mishnayot. And I remember the first night we had over a hundred boys. They're not forced to come, no one's pushing them to come, they come on their own and they love coming and every year we get more and more boys. We have a free lending library, it's the most wonderful thing. You literally could see any person from any shul walk in and take out books and they could keep it for two weeks and they could check back and take it for more time and whatever they need we have been providing this for them. It, it started off as one bookshelf and it's turned into over 5,000 volumes at this point. Over three, four hundred uh, registered uh, users of those books. Only thing holding us back is just funding. Now as we look towards the future, we're constantly working very vigorously to try to meet the current demands and to continue to supply the right foundation for our children. The youth program runs independently from the budget of the regular synagogue, which includes the uh, membership dues and the high holiday pledges and so forth. We come to every single member of the community, every parent, and we ask them to please be a partner in our program, be a partner in our future. Please help continue to, to enable us to plant seeds for the future. The Shalet Tzion Committee is totally committed to the youth program. We really need your support to keep growing the program. So anything you could do for us would be great. Sharetzion is not just a place that you visit frequently, uh, once a week, twice a week. It's literally a second home. There's no better place that a person could put their money than the future of our people.